Hey guys, Steph Mistruck with KillerPHP.com. In this quick little vlog, I'm going to answer a question that I get on a regular basis. And the question is, what, um, what web design software should you use and does it really make a difference? Uh, short answer is, it doesn't make any difference really. Uh, today, web design is very different from what it was in the past, where the web design software package that you use, whether it be Expression Web, Dreamweaver, or some of the minor players out there like Komodo uh, and so on, uh, it's not important because uh, the point and click, what you see in, is what you get. WYSIWYG software where you click on buttons and it puts tables and divisions on your page and inserts images. Those type of tools are much less important today than they were just five, six years ago. And the reason that is is because the technology that underlies uh, the web, you know, HTML, CSS, and so on, JavaScript, they're much more sophisticated and more streamlined today than they ever were in the past. So, you know, in the old days when there was a heck of a lot of code to write and it was a real big hassle to, don't mind the truck going on back here, um, when it was a big hassle to create web pages, uh, in, in, in these code in web design software really generate a heck of a lot of code to make it work these tools were important much more important I would argue than they are today so today what would I would be advising people if you're getting into it in fact you know in my basic course I teach using uh, notepad on Windows or you can use text to edit on Mac um, because I want you to really understand the code that's going on behind the scenes because at the end of the day, all these programs are doing is just writing code for you. And if you don't understand the code, you're going to run into problems, I can guarantee you, because all these programs are good, Dreamweaver is good, uh, Expression Web is good, and so on. Um, they don't do everything. And uh, sometimes you have to get into code to fix things. And more importantly, you have to structure your code properly so if the sites are uh, easily updatable, easy to make, easy to update, easy to maintain, and so that they load quickly and so on. Although that's becoming less of an issue today as well. I'm, I'm going to go off on a little tangent here. People still talk about the efficiency of the code so it loads quick. I would argue that's much less important today in terms of bandwidth because uh, we're in the day of video and audio download. People are downloading HD movies. So, you know, a text page of a, you know, that has 100 or 200 K is really nothing. It really is nothing. And to start worrying about shaving off 20, 30 K uh, kilobytes, K is kilobytes, uh, of text uh, from a page to make it load faster is ridiculous. In the old days, that was important because people didn't have high speed internet, yada, yada, yada. But these days, don't go crazy about that. That's, that's just nuts. That's uh, kind of old school thinking. Anyway, so that's it. So in terms of web design software, doesn't really matter. A lot of web designers don't use them at all. Uh, you, you know, the WYSIWYG tools, you know, again, those are point and click tools. And I'm going to do some videos. I'm going to show you the differences between the WYSIWYGs and the text editors and so on so to help you better understand it. Uh, you'll see it on the screen. It'll be a screencast, so you actually see the differences and the different options that you have. But I just want to introduce the subject and what to take away from this particular video is that you don't need to use a fancy, expensive web design software to build websites. And in fact, many pros don't use any at all. They'll use text editors typically. And you'll find in time as you get more advanced, you probably end up just using fancy text editors uh, rather than the point and click tools. And um, I guess Microsoft and Adobe will hate me for saying it, but that's just the way it is, what can I tell you? And I've been doing this for a while. Personally, uh, though, you know, I, I'm involved in web design and creation every day. Uh, I don't mess with code too often anymore because I manage projects and so on. But I still use Dreamweaver on time from occasion, in a, on the occasions rather that I do create websites. But it's... Um, it's the reason I use Dreamweaver is because I've just been using it for so long. I have, you know, I have it and uh, whatever. So, you know, why not use it? Continue to use it. Remember, I've been I've been doing this since '94. 
I think I started using Dreamweaver when it was an early beta, when it was still owned by Macromedia. And I guess that's about 10, 12 years ago. I forget now exactly. So it's more habit than anything else. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope you found this blog interesting, and we shall talk soon. Ciao.